Oh man, so we just had a 5% intraday swing here on Bitcoin. I'm going to share with you why I think Bitcoin has started to give us indications that we could be breaking out from a long-term resistance. This is a critical level right now. We've had an important piece of economic news come out, which I'm going to share with you guys, which is pushing this Bitcoin price. So make sure you stay tuned till the very end, guys. As always, if you want to support this channel, don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe if you appreciate this type of content. Check out NordVPN, link in the description. Get yourself set up on a VPN. If you're trading in crypto, if you're staking, if you're playing around with NFTs, playing around with the metaverse, make sure you protect yourself. It's about 50 bucks, guys, 60 bucks over the two year period to get yourself up, set up on a VPN. It's not something you want to risk. And NordVPN have been kind enough to offer this community 70% off a two year plan, guys. So go get yourself set up. But let's go straight into the charts here, guys, because here on Bitcoin, this is a really big daily candle. And you can just see here from the pattern we're forming why I'm so excited at this point. But there's a lot to unpack here because we're still in a super, super nervy market. Now, let me head over to the hourly chart just to kind of show you what was going on here. Uh, because we've had an important, important piece of economic news coming out today. Uh, and we had the non-farm payrolls. Now, in the lead up to the non-farm payrolls, we Bitcoin was doing pretty well. We were running up to uh, past 38,000. When the non-farm payrolls come, we had a massive spike all the way down to 37,421. But now look at the last two hourly candles here, guys. This is huge. Currently sitting at 38,954. Can we break the 40,000? Maybe while we're recording this video even, can we break 40,000 here? Uh, literally as we speak, 38,920. Uh, this is awesome here on Bitcoin. Really big move. But the question is, what is going on? Well, let's unpack this. So the payrolls showed a surprising gain of 467,000 new jobs in January, despite Omicron, right? Wall Street was expecting 150,000. So you'd think this is good news, right? Why did Bitcoin fall when the news came out? Well, we've got to understand. Remember when I said that um, we're doomed if we do and we're doomed if we don't with earnings? Well, same thing here. So because jobs have come out good, that means the market is really strong. And remember what Jerome Powell said. He said the labor market is so strong that he's he's got plenty of room to rate uh, increase interest rates. And that is what the market's scared of. Risk sentiment is off right now because of the fears of interest rates. We know on the, on March 16th, we get the FOMC meeting. We're expecting a quarter of a basis point, that's 0.25%, um, quarter of a percent, sorry, increase in interest rates, right? Now, what the market is scared of is a surprise 0.5% increase in interest rate. And this piece of news here has just made that more possible, okay? This is not a good thing in terms of inflation and if you're worried about interest rates. So that is why we saw Bitcoin fall down to the downside. But I think we've now had extreme buying the dip from this level when we came back down to test our long-term purple wedge, which you guys know we've been monitoring for a long time here, the bulls just came in and annihilated the bears right now. So I'm going to share with you what level I think we need to get above. This is huge, guys. We're sitting here right now, literally trying to get to uh, 40,000 on this chart. We just broke through 39, 39, 372. Massive hourly candle here, guys. Is this a bunch of shorts getting liquidated? A lot going on right now. Naturally, uh, we'll have to research to find out what's happening. But what I can see, guys, what's really important here is that we close this hourly candle above this line here. Okay, 39,150. This is the previous high. If we can close above that, let's just drop that in as uh, a horizontal line. Let's, if we can, as long as we can close above this line, even if the next hour comes and retests and we can bounce towards 40, that's going to be perfect here for this Bitcoin move. Really exciting. And I think this has finally got the market understanding that, hang on a second, we are just... You know, we're just smashing everything, stocks, high high risk growth stocks, Bitcoin. And now look at this buy the dip here. Will this last? Will it be a bear trap? We need to keep an eye on this. Let's head over to the four hourly because now this massive, uh, massive candle here on our four hourly has flipped our EMA ribbon. Our EMA ribbon would now become bullish after for a while just, you know, kind of trying to go bullish, flip back bearish, try to go bullish, bearish, you know, it's almost sideways here for quite a long time. Remember, we were worried because we created this lower low after this low here, but this massive candle is going breaking through. That's why it's so imperative that we get the higher high because we didn't get the higher low, okay? So if we can get the higher high, that is a good sign and we can start working towards our targets because remember this is still a bit of a triangle pattern with a price target of about 43,800 so the momentum from this breakout can take us easily to 43,000 but more importantly look how long here on this four hourly chart in fact we can even go to the daily chart to see how impressive this uh, 
long-term resistance has been. This is serious long-term resistance. Just look at that red line here, dating all the way back to when we were at 69,000. This has been the resistance level all the way down. If I remove the EMA ribbon, you'll see it a lot clearer. Look at that, how many times we got rejected off this level. We just couldn't break through. But now, really strong intraday right now. We've still got eight hours till this daily candle closes. We've got to stay above this red line. We've got to uh, try to break through uh, 40,000. But more importantly, above the previous high, which I shared with you uh, on the hourly. Okay, So that's the area we need to keep an eye out on is that yellow line which we're miles above right now you can see here on the hourly candles 39 150 we've got to stay above that if we can push right now straight through 40 that would be epic right now on bitcoin so so far things are looking really good thought i'd bring you this emergency video just to show you what's happening because the market is still super volatile guys let's head on over to the stock market and you can see the stock market dow jones is flat s p 0.5 up and the nasdaq rebounding nicely 1.3 percent again just despite the jobs figures, because initially you would have thought the jobs figures would send the market into Tomo because they're going to think, oh, we're going to get a 0.5% interest rate hike. But I think what we have got now is that we've understood that the 0.5% interest rate is coming. We are in persistent inflation. And I think that's why Bitcoin is responding so powerfully now, because people are going, hang on a second, a 0.7% wage hike in a month is five is a uh, almost let's take let's take the exact number 0.7 for the month so let's do 0.7 times 12 we've got 8.4 percent inflation rate over the year annually on wages this is not something to be ignored this will have an impact in a lot of the for the lot of the company so inflation's here to stay and that could be one of the narratives why bitcoin is now bouncing right now is as a response to the inflation argument to say, okay, maybe we are now a hedge against inflation. So very confusing market, very tricky market. It's not moving the way that you would normally expect things to move. It's, it's a lot of emotions, a lot of panic going on right now in the market. And uh, I think, like I said, a lot of one thing is for sure. There is a, there are a lot of shorts right now on Bitcoin and there is a lot of cash sitting on the sidelines. And those two things are a recipe for a giant short squeeze, okay? You know, there's a lot of people believing in a long-term bear market here on Bitcoin. A lot of people sold their positions, a lot of people placing shorts, and all this cash sitting on the sidelines is waiting for a floor. And we've been speaking about this for a long time. If we can break through 40,000 now, trust me, this is just the start because a lot of money is waiting to flow in. They don't want to miss the move from 40 back up to 69. That money is going to pile in when we start getting through 40 and you know, successively clearing the resistance levels which we've got drawn on this chart. So just as we're speaking now, we're getting a little bit of selling happening here, maybe a little bit of intraday trading, profit taking here. Uh, sitting still strongly now on 39.531, looking really good on Bitcoin. Like I said, as long as we close above this horizontal level here, we can touch base here, retest and start building upwards. Just be, We just still have to be careful of a bear trap. So if personally, I'm not FOMOing in buying any right now. Like I said, this is why I don't time the market. So if you were trying to time the market and you're looking for an entry point in now, you've got to be really careful because everybody's trying to do what you're doing. And you, this is why you could easily be set up in a bear trap. Uh, if you're shorting, good luck to you guys. That, that's a really dangerous recipe right now When with the ingredients I've just said uh, are in the market right now with all the cash on the sidelines and people waiting to put their cash somewhere. Uh, if Bitcoin can break through 40, I really can see this being quite explosive here on Bitcoin. So there you have it, guys. There is your update on Bitcoin and what is going on in the macro economy. A really strong jobs figure initially led Bitcoin to fall, but then the bulls came in, bought that dip, and now we're looking to knock on the door for $40,000. Can we get to that $40,000 mark or are we going to head lower? Let's see what happens over the next couple of hours whilst I upload this video. As always, if you appreciate this type of content, don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe. If you want to get yourself set up on a VPN, guys, links in the description code. Coupon code is all man. NordVPN have been kind enough to offer 70 percent off guys over a two-year plan to get yourself set up on a vpn if you're trading cryptos if you've got your wallet set up if you're playing around with nfts and yield farming and you don't have a vpn guys you don't know how much of your data is being shared out there on the internet you don't know how un anonymous you are uh, and if you go on the nordvpn website they'll actually show you you know that they know your ip address they know where you are and some details which you wouldn't expect them to know so make sure you get yourself set up on your vpn make sure you're anonymous uh and just get that done, guys. I mean, it's like 50, 60 bucks for the sake of how much you guys are trading in crypto. It's not something you want to take a risk with. I personally use NordVPN, set up on my phone, set up on my devices. Anytime I trade, I check in through a VPN and make sure I do my trades through there. As always, guys, if you appreciate this type of content, smash up the likes and subscribe. We're going to make some more videos today on Phantom and a few other coins. So make sure you stay tuned and watch all those videos. And I'll see you in the next one.